Hi guys, it's Sophie from Just Fabrics and today we're going to show you how to make some bunting like the ones behind me. For this make we have chosen to use five different fabrics. We're using the JF Ticking Red, the JF Ticking Blue, the Limington Raspberry, the Studland Indigo and the Ashmore Indigo. You'll also need some bias binding or some ribbon, uh, some pins, a tailor's chalk or fabric marker, a ruler, a pencil, um, some cardboard or paper for your stencil and scissors and a sewing machine. So to make your stencil we're going to do a triangle that is 20 centimetres wide across the top and then if you measure across the line to halfway and then measure down to 26 centimetres and then join up the sides to make the triangle. So now you can use your template to cut out four triangles in each of your chosen fabrics and this is going to create ten triangles all together. So make sure the point of the triangle is lined up with something straight on the pattern and you can draw around the stencil with your fabric marker or chalk. Now you just need to cut around all the pencil lines and then you'll have your bunting pieces ready to sew. Once you've cut out your four pieces, you just need to repeat this with your other fabrics. Like I said, we are choosing five different fabrics to have alternating bunting. So the next step will be to create your triangles. So we're going to do double-sided triangles so that the bunting looks nice from both sides. So you want to put your bunting right sides together, line up your edges as best you can, and we're gonna stitch all the way along here, and we're just gonna leave an opening just at the top there so we can turn them the right way out. So once you've stitched around all the edges, you're gonna use your scissors to cut the end of each triangle at a diagonal so that they are easier to turn the right way out. So now you can turn all your triangles the right way out and you can use something sharp like a pencil or scissors to get right into the corners. So once you've turned the triangle the right way out, you want to just fold in the raw edges at the top and press them with the iron. Once you've pressed the triangle flat, you can then repeat this step with all of the others. So the next thing we need to do is once all the triangles have been pressed is attach the triangles to the ribbon or bias binding. Now that you've done the first one, you can space out your bunting however far apart you like. We're going to use about 11 centimetres between each one and you can repeat this for the rest of them. Now just stitch along the entire top edge of the bunting. So for each end you can either stitch into a loop, you can leave it loose or you can tie a knot which is what I'm going to do on each end so that you've got some way to attach it. And once you've got your loops tied on the end you've got your finished piece of bunting. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this make. You can find a lot more how-tos on our website and on our socials.